We start this week with some news for all you would-be 3D printers out there. If you're just getting your head around the whole make anything, print anything culture, and you've been wondering what the limits are, well, here are your answers. You may remember a while back, we featured the Cube 3D printer that can print things like this. And we got so much feedback following the show that we can only imagine there's a small army of manufacturers out there that are just waiting to get busy making stuff. Now the biggest question we got though following the show revolved around how to actually get the 3D blueprint that tells the printer what to print. Well, that's where the Sense 3D scanner comes in. What makes the scanner unique is that you don't have to go to a store to get it done because quite literally the power is in your hands. You see, the scanner is portable in that you hold it up and move around the object that you want to print into 3D. The scanner is using two cameras and an infrared camera. Basically, you're going to scan around the object and it's going to pick up that data using the grid itself. Using the data that you get from the scanner, you put it into the software that comes with the 3D printer and through that process it creates a model for you using the 3D printer. It's very exciting actually, Jason. You can actually scan from anything in your house, from your couch to your cat to your relatives to make a family portrait for a gift type of thing. So it's, it's endless. I'm actually going to be scanning you today. As the camera is tracking your image, it's basically filling up the gaps with the feature recognition. So it's picking up your face, your nose, your ears, and it's using the infrared technology to be able to determine the distance on that. Now I'm going all around your head to get the entire shot, then I'm going to go up. You don't have to move too fast or too slow, a nice gradual movement will be perfect. And then just under your chin to fill up the gaps so that there's less processing that we have to do at the, uh, at the end of it. And that's basically it. You've been scanned. You've been digitized. The Send Scanner can also be placed on a tripod so that it is static and the object that you are scanning will actually be the one moving around. As this technology eyes the domestic market, the potential is quite clear. Soon you're going to be able to scan and print just pretty much anything that you want. The biggest question though is, where are you going to store everything that you print? 